Hey guys, welcome to all of you on our channel that is the Chief IAS. So friends, as you know that on our channel we are targeting the exam of civil services and for that purpose we have started multiple series on our channel that target your prelims as well as mains. So in this video we will be, uh, in this series we will be, uh, what we do, we daily discuss some questions relating to your prelims 2020. So the name of this series we have kept is let's solve some questions for prelims 2020. So as is clear from the, its name, it's uh, this series is not just about solving questions but it is also about your participation. Your participation in the form of comments uh, 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 that may contain additional information so that you people can share your additional uh, information with the others and others also can benefit from it and they also can uh, share their information that they have with them uh, with with the uh, with you people so in this way that uh, that would be a kind of uh, 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 a kind of we can say engaging approach so that's why it is important to engage so it is it is a humble request that do engage in uh, such things so let's start on a uh, uh, video uh, so today is video number 10 so we will be discussing mcqs of environment and ecology so first question is which of the following measures has have been taken in India for wildlife conservation? First, a global tiger form of tiger range countries has been created for addressing international issues related to tiger conservation. Second, financial and technical assistances are provided to the state government under the project tiger and project elephant. The, the Wildlife Crime Control Bureau has been set up to strengthen the enforcement of law for control of watching and illegal trade in wildlife and its products. So we have to choose that which of these uh, uh, co uh, statements are correct. Let me tell you friends that yes, first statement is correct because this Global Tiger Forum uh, is there of Tiger Range countries. Uh, basically it is to uh, bring cooperation between countries that have a tiger population and address the issues that are international relating to tiger conservation. And yes, uh, there is second statement is also correct. Uh, correct. The central government provides uh, uh, financial and technical assistance uh, uh, to, to state governments for wildlife conservation under different projects. For example, Project Tiger, Project Elephant, and there are also other projects. So then uh, there is also Wildlife Crime Control Bureau. So what this bureau uh, d uh, do uh, does, uh, it basically it basically strengthens the enforcement of law for controlling of watching and illegal trade in wildlife and its products. So the answer is D, that is 1, 2 and 3. So uh, obviously all these statements are correct. So more details here are uh, given to you. I have already explained to you in great, uh, explained to you in great detail. Uh, so wildlife conserv under wildlife conservation, there are well uh, refers to well uh, in in simple words. Wildlife conservation is a, a practice of well planned uh, well planned black practice of ensuring protection for wild animal species, their habitats and plants. So there were various protected areas, for example, national parks, sanctuaries, conservation reserves and community reserves covering important uh, wildlife habitats have been created all over the country. And uh, these protected areas are created under the uh, provisions of Wildlife Protection Act 1972 to conserve the wild animals and their habitats. And then also financial and technical assistance is provided to the state and union governments under the centrally sponsored schemes, for example, integrated development of wildlife habitats, project tiger and project elephant and then there is a C, uh, uh, cbi has been entrust, uh, entrusted with the responsibility uh, of uh, of uh, 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 apprehending and prosecuting wildlife offenders so this power has been given to cbi under the wildlife protection act 1972 so yes statement 3 is also correct crime uh, wildlife crime control control bureau has been uh, set up to strengthen the enforcement of the law uh, for control of watching and illegal trade in wildlife and its products so statement one is also co uh, correct because the uh, Global Tiger Forum is a intergovernmental international body uh, and it is established with ti tiger range countries as members from willing countries to embark on a global campaign for addressing international issues related to tiger conservation and to protect the tiger. So Global Tiger Forum of Tiger Range countries has been created for addressing the international issues related to tiger conservation. So now let's move to the second question. Next is uh, second question is about ex situ conservation. So we have to consider that which of these statements is are correct about uh, uh, ex, situ con ex situ conservation. First, ex situ conservation helps in commercial improvement of a species through breeding activities and supply of genetically improved reproduct uh, reproductive material. Second, ex situ conservation ensures the ongoing process of evolution and adaptation within controlled environments. Third, captive uh, breeding of animals with possible reintroduction into the wild is an 
example of x is to conservation so we have to uh, uh, choose that which of these statements are correct let me tell you friends that all of these statements are correct so basically x is to uh, conservation is a type of conservation in which uh, uh, in which uh, uh, the concerned species that may be a plant or maybe an animal or any other thing uh, it is removed from its original environment and it is taken to uh, uh, it, it taken into captivity and uh, uh, for the purpose of its uh, its uh, its uh, conservation so uh, not just for conservation uh, today people have started using it for commercial purposes also for example fishing takes place so that is uh, that is a kind of way also it help uh, that results in commercial improvement of species through uh, various type of uh, uh, breeding activities and supply of genetically improved uh, and reproductive material and uh, captive breeding of animals is uh, with possible reintroduction into the wild is an example of ex situ conservation for example if a, if a particular species is threatened then uh, uh, what could be done if uh, that species uh, uh, a part of that species could be uh, uh, could be removed from their original environment and they can they could be bred in controlled environments and when uh, enough num enough population of uh, these uh, species uh, grow, uh, grow grow then they are again released into the wild so all these statements are correct so more details already you can check so various uh, uh, methods have been used in ex situ con uh, conservation which is also known as offside conservation so it is way of protecting an endangered species or variety or breed of plant or animal outside its natural habitat so then uh, uh, there are various uh, 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 human made habitats for example zoological parks botanical gardens wildlife safari parks and seed banks where these uh, uh, species are kept so in recent years access to conservation has advanced beyond keeping threatened species and now gametes of threatened species can be preserved in wild viable and uh, fertile condition for long periods using cryo preservation techniques eggs can be fertilized in vitro and plants can be propagated using tissue culture methods so statement 1 and statement 3 i already have provided you explained uh, uh, it, uh, it's, it's, uh, the explanation of these statements in the question itself now let's move to the next question next is which of the following statements is are about Uh, true about animal welfare board of india first it is a statutory body established under wildlife protection act 1972 second it advises on design of slaughter houses and its maintenance uh, third it ca it carries out the census of national animal that is royal, royal bengal tiger so we have to choose that which of these statements are correct first uh, uh, we will move to the third statement uh, let me tell you friends that the royal Be the, the tiger census that is royal of uh, royal bengal tiger it it, it is done uh, done by uh, national tiger conservation authority so uh, there is no question of animal welfare board of india in this so national uh, animal this census is car carried out by national tiger conservation authority uh, and first is uh, also incorrect because, uh, because yeah it is a statutory body but it is not created under wildlife protection act so there is an act called prevention of cruelty to animals uh, act uh, 1960 so that act uh, basically uh, establishes this uh, animal welfare board of india which has many functions uh, 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 and uh, one of uh, one among uh, these functions is to carry uh, is to advise on design of slaughter houses and its maintenance and also it advises uh, uh, the uh, the central government on ways in which the suffering uh, of the uh, uh, the species could be minimized and also about various other things like for example design and then processes by which uh, the animals are to be killed so that minimum pain is caused to them and minimum suffering that is both physical and mental uh, could be imposed upon them so the answer is second only so more details here you can check so prevention of cruelty act uh, uh, cruelty to animals act 1960 provides for this animal welfare board of india so it has 28 members uh, and uh, 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 three uh, uh, a member remains there for 3 years so t uh, t basically uh, it has various functions you so you can read these functions by pausing the video so uh, uh, about statement 3 i have already told you that uh, tiger census is done by national tiger conservation authority next is identify the national park having the following characteristics first it lies in the central crystalline belt of the greater himalayas second like the park is bound on the north by the banks of the indus river and parts of jaskar range uh, third is it is ma uh, majorly protecting the snow leopard leopards so uh, you have to choose that which of these statements are correct any student if uh, he is from jammu or uh, uh, north uh, 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 we can say ladakh area he could uh, easily uh, easily answer this question 
so nas this national park we are talking about is hemis national park where specifically snow leopards are protected so uh, it, the park is bound by the on the north by the banks of indus river and parts of jaskar river uh, jaskar range and also uh, Uh, about uh, the uh, it lies in the central crystalline belt of greater himalayas so here you can check so it is in uh, this is a high, a high altitude national park in the eastern ladakh region in india so here you can see uh, this uh, location ms national park uh, in the photograph that i have added and also it is uh, it is believed to the have the highest density of snow leopards of any protected area in the world So it is quite famous for uh, for for uh, seeing uh, to see to see snow leopard in wild. Sorry, friends. Um, now let's move to the next question. Next is consider the following statements about biodiversity finance initiative. First, it is managed by UNDP Ecosystems and Biodiversity Program. Second, its aim is to assess the gap between available funding and the required funding for biodiversity conservation. So, which of the above statements is are correct? We have to choose that. Let me tell you, friends, that both of these statements are correct. So, Biodiversity Finance Initiative is basically it is managed by UNDP Ecosystems and Biodiversity Program, in which uh, uh, funds are raised and managed uh, for uh, for biodiversity conservation. and spend for biodiversity conservation it, and its uh, aim is to basically assess that uh, uh, gap that is between the available funding as well as the required funding for uh, for proper biodiversity conservation so answer is c both 1 and 2 so biodiversity finance is the practice of raising and managing capital using and using financial in incentives to sust uh, to support sustainable device, uh, biodiversity management and statement 2 is also correct uh, because the idea behind uh, implementing this bi uh, uh, biodiversity finance initiative is to first assess the gap between available funding and required funding for biodiversity conservation and then to uh, plan for resource mobilization so statement 1 is also correct biofin is managed by uh, undp ecosystems and biodiversity program in partnership with european union and governments of germany and switzerland so friends this is all about today's discussion so if you scored 3 4 5 marks then uh, uh, it is good but if you have scored less than 3 that is 0 1 2 then it is uh, very good because uh, uh, you have at least learned something today uh, earlier you uh, didn't knew the answers of these questions but now do, by by listening to the explanations you are improving day by day and also uh topics that you have uh, haven't covered they are being covered through mcq modes so don't uh, think in a negative way or don't get that get demotivated uh so you can uh, you can we can you can approach uh, uh, everything in a in 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 a, in a different uh, way or a, with different perspective so lastly friends we have different series for the purpose of csc preparation for example we have uh, geography ncert series uh, the details of which are shown on your screen you can check these details so all geography ncert sir will be covered from uh, 6 to 12th in rupees 149 and uh, uh, the, the Uh, NCERTs of these geographies uh, uh, will be uh, covered in uh, uh, 45 days, total 45 days. So, but how it will benefit you? So, basically, you might be aware of the fact that NCERTs are the foundations. So, you must cover them, and also coverage will be through MCQ. Entire geography will be through MCQ mode, and it will ensure the discipline in your studies because the students face problem of revising uh, and also uh, the lack of self-discipline in uh, in in preparation. But when you will have uh, that target daily, which you will have to prepare and so that you can attempt the mcqs in the evening then you will prepare accordingly and this will lead to the uh, uh, just uh, this will lead you to a much needed confidence because your syllabus will be uh, covered in a time bound manner and also friends uh, you might be aware of the fact that geography ncerts are believed to be uh, the most comprehensive among uh, all the ncerts and my reading is not enough because uh, uh, geography ncerts are also being read by 6th 7th 8th 9th 10th or 11th or 12th class student so uh, there must be something that must differentiate you people from uh, those individuals who are reading it uh, for the purpose of the uh, for the purpose of their knowledge or for that matter for any other thing so that needs a uh, that needs practice because you must know how the upsc frames questions and how questions are asked in upsc and uh, this idea only comes to you when you when you start solving uh, mcqs when you start practicing and also friends uh, now is the best time to start because prelims is just 6 months away so in case you are interested then do ensure that you check the uh, description box where the link is given so link is or uh, link is also shown on your screen and this link is also provided in the description box and lastly friends we have a telegram channel where we have more than 15000 uh, followers uh, so they uh, these followers are getting access to various public resources uh, that we share with you people for the purpose of csc preparation for example pdf of this uh, discussion will also be available 
available uh, in that telegram channel the link of which will uh, will be there in description box so if in case you are interested to join our telegram channel then do ensure that you check the description box and also ensure that you like our video and also ensure that you subscribe to our channel so thank you friends have a very nice day ahead